Now to the crisis and the war in the Middle East. Israeli forces today battling Iran-backed Hezbollah and the fighters for that terrorist group. This on the ground in Lebanon, a day after Iran launched its largest missile attack ever on Israel. The Israeli military said eight soldiers were killed in that combat. Meanwhile, security in New York City is beefed up again. This as we near the first night of Rosh Hashanah, the beginning of the Jewish New Year. New York Governor Hochul, perhaps saying it most directly, calling it an urgent public safety concern. The mayor with a public briefing by his counterintelligence and security experts. They talked about what this means to all of us. I witness news anchor Tanya Rivera live at Temple Emanuel on the Upper East Side with the very latest. Tanya. Thanks, Bill. Well, as you mentioned, Rosh Hashanah begins tonight at sunset. And as you can see behind me, the synagogue is already buzzing with activity as worshipers gather, but they are mingling with armed police officers here to keep them safe. So many here telling us they are just grateful to be able to gather with friends and family after what has been such a difficult year for the Jewish community. At the Joint Operations Center inside police headquarters, Mayor Eric Adams joined NYPD top brass and Jewish leaders to reassure New Yorkers. There are significant protests planned for October 7th, and while we acknowledge that the city will respect and protect people's right to peacefully protest, there will be a zero tolerance for those who violate the law. This doesn't start weeks before. There's a plan that's been in the making for over a year. Inside this room, lined with surveillance camera footage from around the city, various law enforcement agencies come together to share intel and strategize. Fresh off the security success of the United Nations General Assembly, they are optimistic. There will be security measures you see and others you won't. There will be enhanced patrols in the vicinity of houses of worship of all denominations, including synagogues, as well as other locations based on intelligence. You'll see deployments of our highly trained heavy weapons teams, like our Critical Response Command, in all five boroughs. Canine teams will be sweeping sensitive locations each day. Devorah Halverstam works with the NYPD identifying Jewish hate crimes. Her teen son, Ari, was murdered in an act of terrorism on the Brooklyn Bridge 20 years ago. They were in the rear of the van when the gunman pulled alongside and opened fire time after time as the trapped students tried desperately to escape. Halverstam founded the Jewish Children's Museum in Ari's honor. Do you feel safe right now? I actually, I do. I spend the last few weeks with law enforcement, with the NYPD. They have a plan in place with the help of God, all should be well. Governor Kathy Hochul also today on statewide security. I have directed our state police superintendent, James, to increase state police patrols at at-risk areas. Now, officials at that presser today did say three weeks ago an ISIS supporter was arrested in Canada near the U.S. border. That indictment states that he was headed to Brooklyn with the intention of attacking a synagogue there on October 7th. But officials do want to stress, and this is very important, there are no known threats, no credible threats to New York at this time. All New Yorkers should feel confident to gather with loved ones and friends to celebrate. Live on the Upper East Side, Tanya Rivero, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.